you think opening up and closing and opening our body, if that was the case, nigga, we have zippers on our body. What's good, y'all? It's the answer. We back with another one, man. This time we got Wack talking about cosmetic surgery. Y'all know Bam Man, Kivo got it. A lot of the females, he talks about Lil Kemp. You know it's all the rage now, man. Let's get into the clip. We'll comment throughout. Appreciate you tuning in. The mommy makeover. Listen, the tummy tuck, the raising of the breast. I'm all for that. I get it. Two, three kids, whatever. You want to be a rejuvenated. I get it. Right? And then even if you look at the Caucasian women, the very same thing they used to ridicule us about, Botox in the lips. Let's blow the lips up. Mm -hmm. like, what you, you want to look like a Negro now, but I thought we was, you referred to that as this or that or this, right? Everybody's confused. That's it. So I tell people, love who loves you, like what likes you. Don't go putting your life on the line and on the table for no damn body. I mean, you really okay I, I understand the ladies that you know may not want to pay the full price so they end up going like to somebody house to get some work done no nah, how you understand that come on bro you can't be no i'm talking about when you say don't put your life on the line that's what i mean i mean I yeah I, I i'm off like don't do that because yeah you could end up never coming back out that person house but like, I don't give a fuck this Beverly Hills. Like, bro, what I'm telling you is this, bro. Whenever you lay down and it, it's nothing normal about cutting, slicing and opening it up, scraping and, 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 and then sewing back together. We ain't no shabby or Ford, bro. Right? <laughs> you know, the real okay. shit, bro. But you are putting yourself in this road down. We, as human beings, we're going to tell ourselves we know what's going on. We, Man, you have no idea how many years or, or, or what type of uh, risk you put yourself at for the exposure, air. Bro, you open up your motherfucking skin and your flesh, air hitting and all. They telling you, yeah, we cleaning, clean. You don't even know if that cleaning shit they cleaning should be cleaning that part of your body because it's internal. You don't know. Right? No, but then they throw us all back together and we die at 63 and ain't understanding that we fucked up the 74 death by doing this shit. We are, that, we are not supposed to be opening ourselves up like we a motherfucking vacuum, bro. I'm sorry. We ain't supposed to Okay. Oh, I'm not going to sit here and say you don't have a point, but I do got to give you a little bit of pushback, and this is yeah. the reason why where I'm coming from, okay? I'm listening. Now, I have had four surgeries myself. They haven't been voluntary. They've been surgeries that I have had to have, right? Yeah, that's so different, When you bro, have you to have... I mean, you... Back to but, shit, that's different. But what I'm saying is, like, when it comes to cosmetic surgery, you don't think that those doctors get put through the same rigorous process as the same doctors that will operate on a person like me when it's an emergency and, and my life needs saving? What I'm saying is, when you're going in, you know, you probably knees or your back or something. It, you know, it's something that's needed. It's what it is, right? You know, so I get that. But I'm telling you, a motherfucker putting a slit on the side over here and taking an instrument that they didn't create it and poking it in you. And they talking about, we gonna suck this out of you. Nah, bro. Eventually that shit gonna lead to something. I'm just being real. It ain't, it, we may not see it now. Hey, watch this. In about 10 years, we gonna hear. We gonna start to hear person diagnosed with this what is that oh well it's from the backlash of these implants of these this this every three fucking years they changing what they said was the best thing breast implants first it was the uh the silicone i mean the the the, the no it was, first it was, it was the, the hard it they were hard no, I no it was the, the theory it was the, right y'all forget what the what the what it was but they was like well if it leaks it don't bother you with this. All right, cool. Then they came up with some other shit. Now, they got some shit. Oh, no, we got the new ones called the gummies. You know what they've done to some women? Every time these 
say, oh, yeah, this is the best of the best. That's it. Every time they change it, the same lady go back in this place and change it. You think opening up and closing and opening our body, if that was the case, nigga, we have zippers on our body. <laughs> Yo. It's being real, bro. I mean, each his own. I'm just saying, like, you know, and listen, I'm all for that. And but what if it was subtle? Them. What what if it was so? I'm no re, real talk. What if it was the okay? Of the human body, no, bro. but see, did, uh, did, follow me where I'm going. Mm-hmm. Your lady come to you and say, "Look, I want a breast implant. Nothing major. Not go. I'm not going extreme with it. Just want to be a cup bigger because it's something that I really been wanting to do. You gonna be out the door because of that? No. What I'm saying. I'm all for and always got to be an exception to the rule. I'm all for the mommy makeover. You, you 33, you didn't had three kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stretch marks and your breasts and got a look. I'm all for that. Fuck it. Roll the duck. You want, I get it. Right? But the only thing I'm saying is the extreme shit, the shit that ain't got to be. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm shaped like this, but I don't want to be shaped like this. So I'm going to let them go tra- to put me through this transformation to look like this. Yo, man, fuck all that, man. Love who love you, man. That's it. That, that's it. Like, don't go yeah. doing this shit. And then, ha- bro, I say this respectfully. It's a lot of women that in them clothes oh, it look good because it's surgeries. But a lot of that shit be botched. They come out that shit <laughs> and they didn't they didn't fuck this this lady up, bro. Yeah, I uh I actually, you know, he got that show where they gotta fix people who done went through bad cosmetic surgery. Yeah, bro. Now, you but, know what I'm, I'm saying? Not- but not now, now you look you're a lot worse after you didn't pay 20, 30 grand than you was before with your norm, but you're natural. But, all right, hear me out. Then they I, hold I, on, AJ. Okay, go ahead. You then they it. make you sign this paperwork that says they are not liable. Man, listen, man, get the fuck out. Wait, hold up. What you mean? I thought you was a professional. You you didn't put all these markers on my body and show me pictures of what it's going to be and, and all this shit. And then you making me sign some paperwork saying... You ain't liable if I die on the table if this happened or infection happened or this happened or that happened. I mean, make that shit make sense. Y'all want to know what the craziest thing is to me, though? It's not the craziest. But what's that? Just thinking about how in like 15 to 20 years, everybody's going to look the same. Like these bitches' faces already be looking the same. Everybody's going to have. Bro, did I just bodies. say that? I just like, said it's that. It's so crazy to me. And it's like. Let me give you one person, and I got a lot of respect for this person. Can y'all hear me? Boo. Mm-hmm. Wait, you low, Kim. Oh, my man, hold on. Let me say this, then I'm going to go back on mute. But Boosie said, now you know goddamn well all of y'all goddamn hips don't look the same. <laughs> right. Listen, it's one person that I got a lot of respect for this individual. And I didn't, I didn't understand it, right? But over the years... We have seen the transformation. Lil Kim. How Lil Kim had a beautiful I features. It, I she it. was a beautiful sister. Her features, but I don't know. We we tend. I don't know if it's us. We doing it to ourselves or what? We talk about each other and say you got this. Your nose is big. Your lips is big. That's what makes us us, and that's our beauty for the other people we are. But then you look, and I don't know how many years it's been. But I promise everybody that has done a lot of facial surgery, I don't know the name, right? But they all develop the same look. The same? It's exactly. like a Muppet, like look. a Muppet type look. All okay. of them. Okay. But that that's all right. That but that went to the extreme. What I'm saying is this. The, before oh, that's I got the extreme. Oh, that's the but, reality of that shit, bro. But I mean, even with them, I have no doubt in my mind that it probably started off small and it went well and then they just kept going and kept going until it got oh, out of, of control. So of I, I, so I understand that. that. 
But what I what I was just saying was before I ever had to have a surgery, right? You I keep thought, talking about you, but I you got it. surgery for a re- like you didn't Oops. you know, you had probably broke some or some fucked up. You know, I mean I'm pretty sure, bro. You just I don't have you had cosmetic surgery just to do it? No, what well, I mean, you know, all right, so you know when you get shot, right? If you get shot in the body. Oh, you gotta open and, up. They open right. up. Right. And, and they don't just close you right back up, right? So yep. you got to heal up and everything, and that takes that takes a long that takes what, yeah. maybe about two, three. So the doctor come to you and the doctor say, Well, look, you got a choice. Okay, you can either walk out of the hospital like this. Or we can close you back up. Now, if we close you back up, you know, your muscles will be back in the right place. And you'll probably be safer that way because, you know, nothing will be too exposed. So, I'm not finna say that's necessarily on the same level of getting a booty done or getting some breast done or nothing like that. But that's that's cosmetic. But, But you know what it is, though. You know that it's really a lot of these women now, they're trying to keep up with filters. Like with with images and art. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Yeah, like they're trying to keep up with with shit that they see on social media. Um, And it's actually really sad. Like I go up for cosmetic surgery. Um, I know I've been contemplating for years on getting weight loss surgery. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's going to be a whole lot of surgery that I would have to follow through with after that. Put all that on me. Like I'm only 4'11 and a half. I'm short. (laughs) So it's like. I don't know. It's just thinking about it and, and seeing people in person. They look so terrible, yo. Like, that should be crazy. The way to go to me, though, is like if you're going to do surgery, I just think like fat transfers and shit like that are what I would suggest. No, but, no, no, no. No, oh, shit, I'm no, no. he's saying let me no. Tell y'all too. about this yeah, shit. You, Hold you, on. You hear what? Okay. I'm a, let me give you some game. And you can Google this shit. The type of the fat type that's in your stomach the fat type right is totally different from the fat type that's in your glutes like your butt thighs and shit right now when you eating you ain't eating right and all that shit your stomach start getting big and all that that's them that's the fat reacting in your stomach area so now you suck that fat out your stomach won't and then you like, all right, you put it in your buttocks and your ass, right? Stomach is slimmer, waist is smaller, your ass go to eat. And it's a lot of people that'll tell you that stomach, that fat that you just took out your stomach, start to react in your ass like it is in your stomach. It ain't going to turn in the, in the ass fat. It's still going to react. And then you start fucking spreading uncontrollably. You can't stop it. A lot of these ladies that tell you, you be like, damn, bro, your, your ass has been got twice the size. Uh-huh. I can't stop it. <laughs> Why? Because the fat that you took from your stomach is reacting as if it would have been reacting in your stomach because you still running around eating and doing see, the shit you're crazy. doing. Now, here goes the fucked up part. We have yet to see what's going to happen with the mutated fat, what's that? I believe, it's my belief, eventually those fatty tissues that's naturally in your buttocks and the fatty tissue that you put in there that you took out of your stomach, that shit gonna go to merging and something else gonna be created. Now we'll see if we hear about it, right? But <laughs> it's the reason why it's a this type fat in your stomach and it's a this type fat in your buttocks and it's a this type fat in your thighs or your calf it's a reason for that and here we go with our smart asses fucking with some shit and then oh no we gonna do okay this has happened so you know what if we give you this and this injection uh we can control it man listen man it's too much i haven't heard anybody break it down like that though i don't even Google I mean, I'm sure somebody mama. has. I just didn't listen. That makes so so much sense. Because I'm like, yo, <laughs> bitch, how the fuck your ass dropped that quick, sis? Like, you just got it done. I you understand what I'm telling cancer. you? I thought that was better. Google it. Google type of fat in stomach versus type of fat in, in glutes or buttocks. I'll bet you it give you two total different types of fat. 
thanks for tuning in y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man like comment share subscribe it's the answer man we here and until next time man we'll keep bringing it to you have a good weekend y'all we out